This new data on the antioxidant content of thousands of foods revolutionized the way my family eats. For example, you've known me as a veritable green tea fanatic, not because I particularly like it, but because that's what the science said was the best thing to drink. But that was before 283 beverages were tested. I don't think I could even name 283 beverages. They tested everything from Red Bull to Crowberry liquor. Let me pull out a few. Water has zero antioxidants, as does Red Bull. At this scale, Pepsi, Coke, and cow's milk get a 1. A glass of white wine, cup of red tea, black tea, green tea, red wine, seven times the antioxidant power of white, but neither as good as grape juice. Here's a shot of espresso, cup of coffee, and matcha tea. Tea made out of powdered green tea leaves, which is what I've been drinking. But what is this? I mean, what beverage could possibly be better than actually eating green tea leaves? Matcha has met its match. In terms of antioxidant power, the healthiest thing to drink on the planet Earth may be hibiscus tea, so like you know, red zinger blows everything else out of the water. So here's my latest recipe, half a gallon of water, eight cups, four bags of any tea in which hibiscus is the first ingredient, I like wild berry zinger, the juice of one lemon, and three tablespoons of erythritol, or um, you could uh, blend in some dates. Uh, I just put it in the fridge overnight, no need to heat it, it can just cold brew. In the morning, I take out the tea bags, shake it up, and drink it throughout the day, every day, all day long. And as always, extra credit for green foam. Pour a cup of the tea into a blender with a bunch of fresh mint leaves, blend on high, and then pour it back. So you have dark green leafies blended into what may be the highest antioxidant beverage in the world, and it tastes like fruit punch. Your kids will love it.